Uh, so you like cooking, and you think these are going to turn out pretty good? Is that what you're saying? What'd you call them? A uh, Cajun lemon crab clam bombs? Huh. Yeah, that's it. Cajun lemon crab clam bomb. There you go. Alright y'all, James here. We're ready to do another cooking video with some seafood. We got us some crab meat and we got us some clams. So let's go check out what we're doing. Hang on. Okay. So we got us some clams, some chopped clams. Got us some white crab meat. Got us some sugar, got us some Cajun seasoning, got some hot sauce, six lemons. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut the top off of them, hollow them out, and fill them with clams and crab meat seasoned with Cajun seasoning, hot sauce, and sugar. And then, I'm gonna set them in this little pan here, like so. And I'm going to put them on the grill. And grill them. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this together. And we'll get it going. This should be good. It should be interesting. All right. Hang tight. All right. So we've got our white crab meat and our baby clams in there. Now that's already been, they're already cooked. So we're not going out to cook all this. We're just going to heat it up inside these lemons, as you can see, hollowing them out pretty good. And uh, I mean, I left I left meat in it inside it, so. But uh, there's there were juicy lemons too. But uh, so we're going to take us some hot sauce. I like my stuff spicy. I'm going to put some butter in there because there everything's better with butter. Not a whole lot. And then our Cajun seasoning, doesn't matter what kind of seasoning you want to use, just use whatever you want to use. And we're going to just give that a good, like that, and just a little bit of sugar, just a little bit, just to kind of rack that saltiness and sourness from the lemons. All right, I'm going to get all this mixed up to good, and I'm going to stuff these, and we're going to put them on the grill and get that going hang tight all right yeah it's pretty windy this evening this afternoon had to put me up a wind barrier wind block big piece of sheet steel uh, from a tractor trailer that i've had for many years but anyway the seafood lemon bombs are chilling in the fridge and fire's going. I'm gonna hang out, chill out for a little bit, let that get right. And then we're going to use the other trash can on top of the trash can. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, yeah, we're not gonna use that lid. Anyway, all right, hang tight. All right, and there they are. They're stuffed pretty good. And I just topped them off with some uh, with some hot sauce. And you can if you want to. I mean, you got the tops to to the lemons. You can if you wanted to. When you're cooking them, you can just sit one right on top of there while it's cooking. That's probably what I'll do. I don't know. Well, I'll try a couple like that and a couple without. Them. Let's get them on the fire. And uh, like I said, the, the the meat is already cooked. It's just what we're gonna do. Let's get them real nice and hot, mixed in with that flavorings of the seasoning and the lemons. All right, hang tight. All right, you have to forgive the heat pump because it's right there. But the uh, charcoals are ready, and our lemon bombs are too. So what we're gonna do is 
maneuver these over here. Sit that one up. Yeah, sometimes those lemons got a little bump on the bottom of them. You kind of got to shear it off. And I was, let's see, here is the lid for this. Okay, it will fit. But what I wanted to try to do, even though it's so windy, is I was wanting to use that. Yeah. My six gallon trash pail. Actually, that's better than the original lid because it's got a little air uh, space in between there, so keep those charcoals going better. We'll try that for a little bit. And like I said, all we're doing is heating up the uh, heating up the seafood inside the lemon. We're not trying to actually cook it. So uh, we'll get back to this here in a few minutes. Give it about five minutes, we'll take a look. All right. Okay, so it's been about five or eight minutes. It actually smells pretty good coming out of there. Let's take a look and just see. Oh yeah, they're steaming. Let's put the small lid on there. And uh, confine the heat a little more. It actually fits on there all right with those lemons. Those are big lemons. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that on there and finish them off. I like using that there though. It's old school. Even this thing here, I like it too. You got to do it a different way though. All right, we'll let that go. I don't know. I don't know. Five, ten minutes. We'll get back to it. Hang tight. So yeah, I mean, I say to the guy, uh, that's my hat you're wearing. And uh, he said, uh, well, no, it's my hat. Uh, I know, right? Uh, I said, that's my hat. I don't know. Oh, really? Huh. That's interesting. Wow. Huh. Really? Well. Hmm. Huh. Uh, clear blue sky. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's check out these uh, lemon bombs here and see what's going on. It's been about 10, 12 minutes. Since I took off that uh, six-gallon pail. Whoa, yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It's boiling down in there. Lemon juice. Juice from the crab and clams. Hot sauce and spices. Oh, yeah. It smells good, too. Put that back on there again. We'll get back to it. Hang tight. All right, so we got it going on here. We're gonna slice one of these and get it going down the middle. Uh, let me get a close-up of that with that steaming coming off of there. That's your Cajun lemon clam crab bomb. And there you go. Yep. <laughs> 